uh, I want to really uh, know uh, since uh, artif behind the artificial intelligence there is brain, right? So uh, and contradic contradiction is that we are trying to replace the real brain. So how do we? How are we successful in doing this? And uh, why at all we should should we do it when the brain is the brain is the real brain? Uh, you have talent, you have skills, and you cannot really uh, quantify these things with artificial data. So I've been listening to these things, artificial intelligence, for a long time, and my my mind is always thinking. Why at all we are doing it when we are, we are behind it, and if we are not behind it, then why do we do it? So this is what I what really want to know. Okay, thank you for asking. Her. I think um, I and mean, then I think everybody will have a different way of uh, looking at it. But I think fundamental way is, is is what humans is in terms of human need is to to innovate and continue to evolve. That evolution has been happening since the time the fire was invented and wild wheel was invented, and the and disruption has been happening in different ways. At this juncture, uh, after all the mobiles and in terms of all the innovation in IoT things are happening, this and, and uh, human genome has been mapped. I think there is this probably time of adding more intelligence, which can probably bring more efficiency to to human race. Obviously, there is there are there are perils of it, which need to be controlled appropriately. But um, but the evolution probably is not. It, it has been going for hundreds of years and thousands of years. That would continue to happen over a period of time. Uh, it's very tough to kind of uh, kind of stop that evolution over a period of time. I don't know if there is there are other views in the room, but I fully agree, Madhu, with your point because uh, as uh, uh, she said that uh, uh, in my opinion, brain cannot be replaced at all. Whatever it takes in the in the technology, brain cannot be replaced because these things are being developed by brain itself. So for you for the answer to that question, that cannot be replaced at all. But why we are doing it? The second part is that we are automizing many things. So AI is also and IoT and all these things are part of automization of many things. Like in the uh, in the uh, you can say the factories, the FMS system is there, uh, and that is also a little bit of touch of AI. We are in uh, uh, putting that artificial intelligence into the factories, into the machines, so that they can uh, uh, predict themselves and uh, give us the results, okay, I am now going to uh, break down, please help me out. So such kind of things we are putting them inside, that is also part of artificial intelligence. So to make ourselves work more easier, as a more productive way, in a more efficient way, we are using, we are creating this AI. That's the answer. Absolutely. Thank you. With that, I would, I would like to thank